guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's session, I'm going to be projecting some boulders. I'm going to choose two, three grades in like the black difficulty. I'll put down the grades below. Um, and I'm going to give myself like 20, 30 minutes per boulder to kind of just like work on the moves um, and to hopefully send the boulder in the end. Um, I find that like working on hard boulders is really good for training like I really enjoy it and it just kind of like forces you to get out of your comfort zone to try harder moves harder stuff um, to get like that power and finger strength and so yeah I do this like a couple times a week and I'm just gonna kind of show you my process today and see how it goes so let's get started first of all I'm gonna try these yellow ones um, I haven't tried it yet I'm just gonna work on the moves see how it feels I've already warmed up this is I'm gonna like kind of finish warm up in the border just to like feel the moves and get ready and hopefully send it but it looks hard I also need to be careful with um, small holes because some of my fingers are hurting and those crimps at the end but yeah I will adapt as I go so it's a toe hook start there's a hole like right here and hit. Oh, I hate toe hooks. Toe hook start, get that. I would say heel hook, go out, bring foot up, bum, heel, bum, left, right, or left, left, right, left, right, left, or cross, if that was understandable. <laughs> I feel like I might need a double toe hook to match and not pull up heel. Anyways. I'm gonna try it out and see <laughs> if I can get my toe hook in first. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> I can't fucking get my toe hook in. <laughs> um, okay, I will work on this first move. Cameraman. <laughs> Two gave a really good idea. Just campus the first move because it's actually a jug, this thing. Let's say two, two start. And I just need to go. <laughs> that works. Yeah, campus, just touch the start, foot start campus and then the sloper isn't that good but heel kind of keeps you close into the wall and then I gotta, get, I gotta get higher there I was too low um, on the yellow hold I was a bit short because I didn't go powerful enough and my foot kind of got stuck on a holds below but beginning doesn't seem too bad I'm gonna try from this move heel and just like try the end If I don't pull hard enough on my left heel, my kind of butt comes out and then this sloper is really bad. So then my hands just start to slip and my body just goes out. So I need to stay guinea. Um, I'm gonna try that move again. Um, and just like focus a lot on my left heel and stay butt close to the wall. Oh fuck. The top is not good and it's like slanting sideways and as I go out to give power to hold onto that hold my butt goes out a lot more and the heel just doesn't hold so either I need to uh, squeeze harder everything the whole body or I feel like the real method is toe hook um, I'm gonna try actually the move again and go right hand because the right part of the next hold is better. And then maybe try to get like a right foot out and push against that yellow. <laughs> no, right hand, if I go right hand, I get even more swing. And then since like my whole body is right, there's so much pressure on the left heel they will just come off easily and then holding that will be impossible. <sighs> so, 
I'm gonna think about this a bit. <laughs> okay, there's a hand mark on the gray volume. So maybe I could either bum bum or bum bum. <laughs> left, right or right, left. I'm going to try the next moves. <laughs> Hesitation. Get a method in your head and do the method. Don't just like feel it out. Um, I think I will grab the first one and then go left again and then grab that and then go left. Instead of, because I was trying to like cross but I didn't really trust the heel. I feel like it was just going to slip. So I was like hesitating too much. I'm going to bump. There's something with my positioning that I'm, I don't like. I feel like it's doable, but I need to do something with my feet and body positioning to make it better. Maybe I don't even need the heel, just have left foot low on the start hold. Okay, so what I'm gonna change now is the like attempts before, I only had like heel on the big yellow banana. And so with only right heel, my body's like really over to the right to kind of like sit on the heel and trust it. And I wanna bump left which means I'm gonna get a lot of like pressure on my left hand and then I'm gonna rock out right, so I'm gonna to need to squeeze really hard. I feel like if I leave my left foot on the start hold and I kinda of have heel just to kinda of like hold me in, I could match and then go left hand out. So I'll see how that goes. <laughs> it's my right hand where I gotta be careful for the finger and that's really intense. Okay, since at the moment, most important is to be careful for my finger, I'm not gonna match. I'm actually going to grab the hold after the banana higher up, grab the crimp and then just like bump to the small hold with like my feet on the lower start hold. Like I don't think why I don't know why I didn't think of that in the first place because it's just keep low and then just bump and that's kind of like easier. I'm just like trying to complicate my life. Okay. Okay, no, that wasn't easy. Oh, I hate climbing three fingers. I'm like, I've gotten better at it because I forced myself to climb three fingers to be careful for my finger. But, and it's gotten stronger, but it was so weak before. And like crossing over and then letting go and having to go out to the side. That's actually a cool move. So that works. Now I just need to figure out the beginning and then it's done. <laughs> so I just need to kind of figure out this part of the border and I'm gonna try to like get my right foot to push against here because it's dual text everywhere except for here so maybe if I had like maybe if I have like a heel right so then both are like I've got two pressure points to stop from swinging out except heel and there that's asking for a bit of flexibility which I don't know if I have <laughs> Okay, but I'm gonna try that. No. <laughs> what the? F that worked. Okay, but <laughs> do we consider taking? Screw holds with the thumb is cheating. <laughs> My rule is, 
If it's not blocked, it's not cheating. So that isn't blocked. But I managed to, so like right foot out is, I can't keep my hips far enough left to match. Like for these kind of moves, especially on slopers, you want to stay kind of like as low as possible on the holds. And like, I don't want to be right underneath it because the axe, the angle won't be as good. So I want to be more like on the left with my hips and with my right foot out, it doesn't allow me to have my hips to the left. But then I kind of think I had, yeah, I had my thumb in the hole, but I still managed to like match quite easily and my hips really stayed tight. And then I was like, okay, I feel good. And went up left hand. So I think I just really need to focus on Ginage, like core tens tension, body tension. Okay, hold on. Let me, I didn't brush this first hold. Okay, 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 okay. Do we all believe that I'm going to send it this time or am I gonna crumble f under pressure in full? I mean, I don't feel any pressure, but am I gonna fuck it up is what I mean. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm not gonna fuck it up. crumbled under pressure it's just I need to focus so much on my left hand when it's like open hand oh, I need to move my hips more to the left so then I have less swing when I go out left oh, but that was really good and I don't think I don't know if you can tell but the move to go to like the hold after the banana is really hard and then to match and then to use the side of the volume to go up to the crimp that's so hard it took so much energy okay Next go. Okay, so the, for these kinds of moves where you like kind of cross under or over, um, if you're like heading out to the left, you want to really kind of rotate your hips as much as possible to the left. So then when you let go of like the other hand, your hips are already in, so you won't get like a huge swing out. And I don't think I did that. Because I had like a really long swing and then I lost my, lost my foot and then couldn't hold on. But yeah, hips close to the wall. That's what I'll do next time. I'm not going to touch the start hole because, I mean, it doesn't change much. I'm just going to do the campus move. Um, okay. Okay, what I also did for that crossover move is I kind of like toe hooked under the gray volume just to like keep pressure from not getting too much swing. Oh, but then I stressed a bit for the last move because I was like, ah, oh, where's the jug? Okay, send. I'm happy with that. On to the next. Okay, next spot I'm gonna try are these yellow holds on a slab. Kind of change style a bit. Um, start here trusting feet and then just burp, to the top <laughs> my plan is start like this foot up maybe go as high as possible as i can with this hand and then get my foot up here and just push trust feet grab the two necks put foot there jump foot up bump boom boom bump 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 flashed it in my head Okay. I think that's how you do it. No way in hell can I push on that and get foot straight up because like then my hand is the same height as my foot 
and then you can't push either way. So just jump, jump and trust. I'm gonna just try jumping again because I feel like that's the method. Um, and keep hips as close as possible to the wall because you don't want your butt out because otherwise you just fall out. And the idea is, I mean, there are holds that I can hold on to, but you really just want to think of like, as if they weren't there, just get as high as possible. Because then you think much too much about it and then you're usually too low and then your butt goes out. So just aim higher. I'm not pushing hard enough on my right foot and I'm pushing out of the wall already and not into the wall. So as I, when I get my left foot up, I'm already falling out. I was so high then, that was perfect. But I went like that. I just need to squeeze harder and then place, think of placing, I need to think of my right foot and place it back down onto the volume instead of just like squeezing. That was really good. My right foot slipped a bit. I'm still too... I feel like I might be getting my left foot too high. If I get it lower, but then if I get it lower, I'm like really leaning over to the left, so higher would be better. I can maybe go right hand. I was too far. I'm thinking too much about grabbing it, grabbing the hole with my hands and not getting high enough. This is what I mean when you focus too much on the hands. You just think of like holding the hold instead of positioning yourself better with your feet. Holy crap, okay, so that foot is actually really bad. But if I'm up like this, it could be possible. Okay, the end is actually really hard. Okay, hard part about the end is really getting foot out to the left, because you've got like, I mean the volume is good, but it's not that good. You need to really get a big swing because it's really far out. And then grabbing that is fine, but then pushing up and getting foot up is also quite hard. <sighs> okay, but holding that whole, oh, like already in just a stable position of the first move, the left foot is really not that good, so I'm gonna have to... <sighs> the problem with this boulder, since now that I've already like done the end, is that it's just like one hard move. So it isn't the best boulder to project, but it's still good to work on like your slab skills. For those wondering how to progress on slabs, it's just like <laughs> doing slabs unfortunately and just like trusting feet on small holds, especially with like coordination too. Progressing in coordination is doing coordination. Oh, and this is a typically two kind of stuff I don't, I mean, I do enjoy, but I, I need a lot of time to work on is coordination slabs. And I'm still too low. Okay, I'm gonna go again. I don't know what's wrong. I'm just not gonna think about it too much. I'm just gonna just do the move. Don't need to think. That was good! But I slipped. Okay, I felt it. I was much closer to the wall when I was pushing on my right foot. But fuck! I slipped big time. And there's like, yeah, there's. They've 
like try to lime lime down not lime but there's like a screw and now look at my shoe <laughs> there's a can you see that so technique is stop overthinking and just climb <laughs> <laughs> I'm not pushing on my left fucking leg. <sighs> now I'm a bit scared because I've slipped. There I even went too hard. Like, I don't even, I couldn't even explain to you what I did differently. I think I'm just really focusing on pushing hard on right. So then I don't need to push as much left afterwards. I'm already kind of like high up. Um, I think that's what I'm doing. I'm feeling close now, so I don't want to stop. <laughs> but kind of slipped. But I was still too far out. <sighs> there is a moment where I must just say stop. I'm going to give it five more attempts, starting now, OK? Okay, I think I'm gonna do less than five because this is just getting frustrating. <laughs> okay, done. End of this boulder. I made the end, which isn't too bad. Okay, so that's the end of this session. Um, yeah, I feel like I really enjoy working on harder boulders, just really like the moves. Um, I feel like it helps me progress a lot more just like mentally but also physically um, just to like work on harder moves hope you guys enjoyed the video unfortunately not 100% flash but I'm still happy with the session and yeah so see you soon oh, I need to focus so much on that left right hand in open hand blah, blah, blah. 